Good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. Listen, on this morning prayer broadcast, we are talking about no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hear it good. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. We serve a good God who loves you. He cares about you. God's got your back. I don't care what situation it is that you are facing this morning or this week. I want you to hear me real good. Or this month, the weapon form will not prosper in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are going into the book of Esther, chapter six. Your life is about to be blessed by the word of God. But before we jump into the word, I want you to join with me in worship. Awesome God. Awesome God. Sing it. How great thou art. You are God, and mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow, Lord, we bow and worship. Let's sing it to him one more time. Awesome God, how great thou art. You are God, and mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow, Lord, we bow and worship. Awesome God, awesome God, how great thou art. You are God, and mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow, Lord, we bow and worship. Father, in the name of Jesus, minister to your people on this morning. Strengthen them, encourage them. God, there is life in your word. There is faith, there is hope, there's peace, there's breakthrough, there's healing, there's victory. There is deliverance in the word of God. Minister to your people on this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Listen, no weapon form against you shall prosper. That's what I'm talking about this morning. Now, what I'm going into is the book of Esther. You see, the people of God were hated terribly by a man by the name of Haman. Haman hated the Jews because of Mordecai. Mordecai was a righteous man. This man just refused to bow. He refused to allow the enemy to manipulate him and control him. And when you take that type of stand against Satan, whoever the devil is working through that's trying to manipulate you, when they realize that you are not yielding or giving in to their foolish, unreasonable demands, listen, Satan will begin to work through that, that person to injure you, to hurt you, to even annihilate you. Are you listening to me? This was the case with Mordecai. And Haman got an evil plan from his wife and his advisors to have Mordecai hanged. Oh, but I want you to look as we begin to go into Esther chapter six on this morning. I want you to see how God stepped in and interrupted the plans of the enemy. Now I want you to think about this. At the end of chapter five, Haman got the plan from his wife and his advisors. And early that morning, early that morning, Haman got up and he is on his way to the king's palace first thing in the morning to ask the king to have Mordecai hung. But something happened. Look at chapter six, verse one. The Bible says the night before Haman came to the king, the Bible says on that night, could not the king sleep? 
And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king. So God interrupted the king's sleep, just refused to allow him to go sleep. And that's a lesson for you and I. When you can't sleep, when you are trying your best to sleep, listen, and you can't, listen, God wants to talk to you. You better get up and begin to read your Bible. Now watch this. So the king, because he could not sleep, he said, look, just read the records of the chronicles before me of all the things that have taken place in my kingdom. Where did he get that idea from? God put that in his heart because you're about to find out why. Watch this. And it was found written, whilst they read to him, it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bigthana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on the king Ahasuerus. So Mordecai discovered the plot of two men that wanted to assassinate King Ahasuerus, and Mordecai brought it to Esther's attention, and Esther told the king about it, and their plans were thwarted. But in the process of time, the king forgot about Mordecai. He did not even realize that he didn't have a chance to honor or show proper honor to Mordecai for saving his life. And you got to understand why. Because there are some things you do for people. God will cause those people to forget and reserve that thing, have it on the shelf, give it a long shelf life, so that at the right time and at the right moment, God can remind that person when you need it the most that they got to stand up and do something on your behalf. You see, the Bible says the heart of the king is in the hands of God. And as the rivers of water, God can turn it however he will. I stop by to tell somebody this morning, God is working it out for you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Somebody shout yes. Hallelujah. Now watch this. So the king couldn't sleep and as they read the chronicles, he realized, wow, Mordecai, I've spared my life. I didn't have a chance to show proper honor to this man. Now Haman is thinking the next morning, I'm going to ask to have Mordecai uh, hung on, on a gallows, but God is always a million steps ahead of the enemy. Now why would God wait the last minute to do certain things? I just can't figure it out. All I can say about it is God wants you to put your trust in the living God. For David said, let none who put their trust in you, don't let them be ashamed. Now watch this. So the Bible says, and listen, so the Bible says in verse 3, And the king said, what honor and dignity has been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him. There is nothing done for Mordecai. So the king is planning in his mind. I got to honor this man. I got to do something to show this man that I'm grateful for what he's done for me. And then we come into verse four. All of a sudden, right after the king decided what to do, there was a there was a knock on the door. Guess who it was? They said, the king said in verse four, who is in the court? Now Haman was come into the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. And the king's servant said unto him, I just got to preach this thing, man. The king's servant said, this is Haman that's in the court. So the king said, let him in. And when, when Haman came in, the king didn't even give Haman a chance to talk. Hey, the king said unto Haman, what shall be done for the man that the king delights to honor? Haman did not know that the king was planning to honor Mordecai. So Haman thought within his own heart, my gosh, the king can only be thinking about promoting me. So Haman said, 
Let the man put on the king's own robe and let him ride on the king's own horse and let one of the king's most noble servants pro uh, proclaim in the front of this man that this is what is done to the man whom the king delights to honor and then to the shock of wicked Haman the king said unto him go and do so to Mordecai and let nothing fail of everything that you said my God he'll use your enemies to set your promotion he'll use your enemies as a stepping stone to prove to the devil that no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper and to prove to you that all things it works together for good to them that love God who are called according to his purpose my God he shut down Haman's plans and when Haman got home to his wife and to his advisors Haman said unto them and told them how the king promoted and elevated Mordecai and guess what they said to him they said if Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews whom you have begun to fall you will not prevail against him I stop by to tell you that devil cannot prevail against you God is on your side God is fighting your battle the weapon that's formed it can't prosper Somebody shout and help me praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. My God. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God Cause he won't give up on you Cause he's able Oh, sing it with me Oh, oh, oh He's able, he's able Oh Father, I cover my brothers and sisters this morning Come on, just lift your hands to heaven right now We're in the presence of God That weapon form will not prosper it will not prosper. You coming out of this more than a conqueror. You coming out of this unscathed. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they came out of the fiery furnace, not even the scent of smoke was on those men. That's the God we serve. He loves you. He cares about you. He's got your back, my friend. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity right now to stand with us and support the work of God. We need your help. We can't do this without you. Visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries. PayPal dot me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail in your donations to the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442. God will bless your life beyond measure because of your obedience. For you that's watching this broadcast and did not have a chance to subscribe to our YouTube channel, I want to give you that opportunity right now. I want you to scroll over me and my wife's photo. When that small box slide out, click on the subscribe button and make sure to turn on your notifications because by turning on your notifications, you will receive all of our morning prayer broadcasts, all of our live broadcasts, whenever we go live, you will receive those notifications. And we guarantee you, because of the word of God, your life will never be the same.